So, well, welcome back to the show. <laughs> um, I don't really know why uh, I do this recording. I don't know if you like it or not, or who would ever watch it. Um, but uh, I somehow feel that I should do this because, uh, as I see um, today, um, teaching and talking about pro programming is actually explaining uh, different frameworks and uh, and concepts that are actually just uh, a different version of some previous uh, solutions to the same problems this kind of yet another things and I saw that there is no real genuine development so if if, if you ask about um, what programmers do today they actually repeat um, things that have already been done and could be automatized uh, quite easily uh, and <clears throat> there is nothing that uh, would require a real human ingenuity to accomplish. I think that I am doing a few things that uh, I don't see anywhere else. And I just decided to record how I do this. <clears throat> Why uh, I talk about this? Uh, I do it because um, in this previous uh, recordings. I was working on a, <clears throat> a fairly straightforward uh, task of um, connecting to a database and get information from a database in this uh, dust or whatever environment. Uh, right now I'm switching to tasks that are related to this Montru and Mind uh, internal implementation, and I just would like to record uh, the changes and how I play with these tasks. Uh, just because I think um, someone somewhere might find it uh, useful or partially interesting or whatever. <laughs> so uh, the first task that I have just set up is um, that I saw that the save unit function um, fails sometimes. I tried to create new units uh, from the Sakita DB and I found that that didn't, didn't work, it could not uh, reload. And uh, <clears throat> I couldn't solve it. Uh, at that time, when I saw it, because um, it was just, uh, I, I just wanted to create the um, the database connector and uh, not uh, fixing uh, this layer. But it's very, very annoying for me that um, that my system uh, cannot remember uh, properly. So the first task for today is trying to locate. What is the problem with this save method and try to fix it. The idea is that um, it may be related to messages. So this is what I try to uh, just look up. Uh, maybe I will uh, stop the recording over time if I see that it's uh, it's too frustrating to <laughs> record or whatever. So let's see. Uh, load the second DB and try to create a new unit. Um, no. Unit. As you know, I just open up the type and create a new instance by dragging it to the desktop. This will be a, say, a test unit. 
test. I try to do it as fast as possible. So um, I want to create a message. And I think if I put this message into the unit, it should just break. Uh, if not, well, I don't know. Then when it goes on, I just set it up properly. I shouldn't have opened the circular DB at all. Hmm. Okay, so now I have my test unit, test uh, crash, and I put my mm, test message into the unit. And say commit. Uh, just check what else have changed. Refresh. Let's see what do I have in the lead staging. Too much. I don't know why these units are saved, but I have the test crash JSON. Okay, fine. Close it. Start it again. and see if I can load test crash unit. True. True. I cannot load it. Great. Great. So I have a way to replicate the error. And Just a short break.
So, um, that means if I put a message into a unit without anything else, uh, I have a problem. I cannot save it. Uh, let's see. Let's see the content of this test crash JSON. What do we have here? And what causes the problem? Just a moment, I'll try to load it again. Crash. The key is minus 17. What does it want to be? It's the test crash. Unit. And this is one. What? Again, surely. I don't have the minus 17 anywhere else. Uh, the minus 16 is in the data. Where is, where is minus 16? This is the test message. And what is the minus 5? It's the primary type. It's in the data. So the primary type is minus 16 and minus 11. Um, um, just a quick note. So what you see here is, um, is the fundamental question um, that I uh, that I always ask, uh, what is on the left side that I will do something? Uh, the left side, for example, now minus five, uh, five is minus eleven, uh, that you see here. It means that there is an attribute in this element. Actually, it's a reference to another entity, but I don't know when I create. Uh, the actual serialization function, uh, what sort of attributes I will store. So this uh, component also needs the definition of the attributes themselves. And the minus 5 is uh, defined here. So it means that I have the minus 5 defined in, uh, in the data unit and its mm, local ID is zero, which is very nice. I should find this somewhere. Just for a show. Now I'm looking for the definition. Come on. Oh, here it is. Yes, it is the entity primary type of reference. Now that's fine, because now I know that the primary type attribute uh, will have minus 5 uh, in, this, in this JSON file, and it is set to various things, that's fine. But I have an attribute, the minus 17, which is not defined. And I also know that this crash, test crash is actually the unit that I try to save. This. So an attribute of the unit of the missing definition. And I just checked that the minus 16 is also in the data and it's number 5. And let's see where is 5. 
this message. So the test cry No no no. Oh okay, 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 okay. No, it's it's not okay. Because actually the why why does the unit have a message? What is minus eleven? It's com four. It will be complicated. And it's more and more probable that I will just <coughs> stop this recording because, well, of course, it's even more boring. It's the unit. Sorry. Um, I think I have made some mistake here. The this is the test message. That's fine. Minus five. The primary type is minus sixteen. The minus sixteen is data five. The data five. Data five is message. That's good. So actually, the zero is entity in this unit is the test with the, uh, with the primary type is message and that's fine but my problem here is that the minus one minus 11 the minus 11 is the com4 the com4 is the unit oh very good okay so i have really identify that the test crash has the primary type of unit. It's okay. The problem is, what is this minus 17? The minus 17 should be uh, the next ID, which is in com um, persistent entity ID, persistent commit ID, where are you, which movie map reference, what's your name reference, okay, look for next, unit next entity ID, this is 5. So theoretically, I should be able to fix this file by saying that number 17 is in data, no, is in com, Five. Let's see if the com unit has the same. Yeah, it has exactly the same uh, timestamp. So theoretically, the com five will be loaded. Properly. Let's see. I say test crash. I don't say the data and com because I just don't want to change them. I restart the application just for just to make sure. Of course, I should let it go first. Go, go, go. Good. 
I never see if I can load Death Crash. And I can see the unit entities and I have the dead frame page. Maybe just um, do another save. Just to make sure. Um, just a short check what units are loaded now. Very nice. There is no connection to, to the socket DB. So I managed to avoid that problem. Okay, let's say uh, commit. Maybe. I should also set some command to this message. This will run the message command. Nice, edit tags changed. Okay, I just do a comment, the tag disappears, close, run, load, test crash, and it loads up. Fine. Test message. And the, the message command is also set fine. Now comes the more interesting question. What happened? What has just happened here? The uh, let's start over again now with a new thing. The only difference to be that I will not create a message with something else. It, that isn't the difference. Test crash two. This will be the unit. Uh, I should just create a new tag. So you see, uh, there are some changes here. Okay, let's make this tag identified. And say that this is a test tag, and put the test tag into unit entities, and say commit. Close the application, and try to load test crash to. My bet would be that that bet failed. That bet failed. Everything. makes it wrong and what does it mean okay uh, let's see if it is the same thing it's again minus 17 what a surprise the key is minus 17 and I check Test crash two. Yes, yes, it's again the same. 
Very nice. This means that the next ID attribute I uh, automatically create. I do that automatic creation in the wrong way. So because I add the attribute to the unit, but I don't add the attribute uh, properly. Not adding to the referred attributes list. Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> because I don't really remember <laughs> it's ugly code. Oh my god. Remember is that in the same entity I am in the uh, in the same the same unit code. Of course, uh, uh, this is one of the ugliest codes here. It's all surely be replaced. The important part here is that current entity ID unit next entity ID. This is where I should find somewhere in the persistence. This unit context arrest this ID. Context is strings only. No, that's not what I want. What you need to do is to save to save. I should say the idea is.
it's so happy to know that this is just a temporary temporary story if it's empty. Oh that's That's the point here. Set value. I should set the value. Okay, let's see. Um, so now I understand that the problem here is that when I have not touched uh, the next unit, next entity ID field, then it is auto created during the save process. And at this point, uh, it, the system does not know that it should or changed this attribute. The contra test here is that I will create. A new unit exactly the same way as I as I did before and it failed. So I just create a new unit. Um, test crash three, and I set the next entity ID directly to zero initially. And now I create a new tag. Make it. I don't think I have to. I just create this new tag. And I save it to unit entities. And I say commit it's test crash 3 successfully saved and now I reopen test crash 3 and successfully loaded very nice So what I should do here is, uh, of course I will not remember this all the time, and I should fix this point. So instead of saying this, I say that if it's empty, it's not yet set, should be zero and this should be parse long the interesting question is can I it should set this value to next ID. Absolutely no idea if it will work or not, but this is not about my ideas. 
Um, so this is uh, what I call tracer bullet development. Um, actually, now I want to be sure that uh, the memory of the system, which is just this ugly code, uh, which of course will be replaced as I understand how it should work. Should be reliable. And now I just want to fix it so that I can go on. And now I create a new unit identified as graph four. I again create a new tag that can use it. Is my new tag. I put it into the unit. I check if my new little code here is called or not when I press the commit. It is called. Next ID is zero. I set it by one. Set okay. Then I try to reload it. It's not sure that I will succeed with that, but well, that was enough. That was enough. That means the actual unit entity is saved after I have gone through all of its content. And uh, using the set ID function, when I commit, was enough to notify the system that it has to also see to reference the attribute definition of this uh, unit next to the ID. Is it enough? No. Because I guess this is the place where I start saving the unit itself. This is the point where I <coughs> save the references. And this is the point where I save the actual dialogue. Um, okay, let's make it sure again. Yeah. 
here. These are the safety measures that I do, and I'm still not 100% sure that I fixed it, but I just put this breakpoint to the out part and do the test again. So let's make the funniest test that I create in a minute. This will be test. And I create a message. So make it the ugliest possible because I had uh, I initially thought that um, there is some problem with this uh, refresh mechanism that uh, the messages behaves a bit special. Um, but it turned out that it's not what it is not the problem. The problem was uh, the the next entity ID attribute saving. So I put into the empty tours I have test crash five and I say commit. It should stop at the point. Yes, because uh, the next ID is empty, and this point, yeah, it's null. So I actually now I call the set value, which also add uh, the next entity ID attribute, and it's going to import it over to the my unit entity. And that means while I try to save my unit, the next entity ID is four. Okay, this is another unit. Come on. This is the collection unit. That's a generic test crash 5. Test crash 5 has it, and the next, the value is 0. Great. So now I am quite confident that the memory of my system is not corrupt anymore. Why is it? so important and why was it so frustrating for me it's because um, I use this module environment as a designer tool that means I want to put my knowledge into the system into these units this is how it works right now so I of course I don't remember uh, all the all the ideas that I had um, during thinking about this whole dust module environment. And I want to use it for uh, designing the uh, system for my um, production task and also the mind uh, concept. And yeah, that's kind of our push by Max Weber. If you just look around, you will find that how how obsessed I am about that. But the point is, if there is any problem with this uh, memory part of the system, I just can't rely on this uh, other part of my brain. And that hurts. But now I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy because this is a good reason. I saw exactly this problem all the time. And the fix works. So I can, of course, remove this. And 
And I'm going to close this session by saying that the memory of my Montreux friend is okay. So, I think that's it for this session.